Welcome back. May 1st marked decision day for high school seniors excited to take their next steps in their higher education. The rollout of a new FAFSA application is leaving millions with anxiety and wondering if they can go to college. Here's KSN's Jackie Elson. I talked to several students frustrated that they are still waiting to learn if they qualify for federal student aid. One person said they never got a confirmation after filling out the FAFSA form. Another wanted to alter their application, but they couldn't. And someone else said they still cannot fill out the form because the website itself isn't working. High school teachers are helping their students cope with the delays. A time of celebration marred by uncertainty. Normally at this point in the year, most of our kids definitely have an idea as to where they're going. And this year, this has been much different. Darren Rogers, a teacher in the AVID program at East High, sees the struggles firsthand. Our first generation and lower income students absolutely are dependent upon money from the federal government and can't make those final decisions until they know exactly how much they're going to get. Senior at East High, Cameron Davis, is hoping for a track scholarship. Issues with the FAFSA form are preventing him from updating his application. I don't exactly know where I'm going yet, so I wanted to like add schools and switch what schools are on there, and I just couldn't. Colleges like Newman University are pushing back their deadline for students to decide because of the FAFSA delays. Rogers tells his students, Just be patient. To make the best decision for their financial future. We want our kids to be able to get that degree, uh, find out what they want to do in their life and go and do it, but um, uh, be financially self-sufficient and not have be saddled with a lot of student debt afterwards. Federal education officials say they are still working to correct issues with the FAFSA form. The Education Department says applications are now being processed within three days. Here for you, Jackie Hilson, KSN News 3.